Hello everyone and welcome to Home Schooling with Hera. Hope you all are doing great. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the 42 sounds of English, the sequence of teaching them to kids, including the short vowel sounds, the long vowel sounds, digraphs and diphthongs too. So if you are interested in learning all this stuff, be with me to the end of the video. And if you are new to my channel, so let me tell you that this channel is perfect for you if you want to learn how to teach phonics, English spelling rules, English grammar and English creative writing to kids. Moreover, I also offer free teachers training workshop for teachers and parents. So if you want to be the part of my next workshop that will be all around phonics, you can join my WhatsApp group, my Facebook group, my Insta and obviously you need to subscribe to the channel too. So stay tuned because the next live workshop is coming towards the end of October, October 2023. And even if you are watching this video after October 2023, so you can still join the group because I keep on offering free sessions time to time. So I hope that you have already subscribed to the channel. And without any further ado, let's get started. So first, I'll give you the answer of the second question. This is not a question, but a kind of sequence. I will talk about the second thing first. The sequence of teaching sounds to kids, right? Why I'm not saying the sequence of teaching phonics? Because phonics is a broad term. In this video, I cannot tell you that what was the sequence of teaching phonics. If you want to learn the whole procedure, the whole system, you can check out the description box. There are videos that will help you on this topic. Here, I'll be only talking about these 42 sounds and what should be the sequence of them. So let's talk about this first. The English language has 26 letters. We all know this, but there are 42 sounds that these 26 letters can make. So what we do in our uh, elementary classes, foundation classes, we teach 42 sounds to kids rather than teaching them only these 26 letters. And we also change the sequence of these letters just because we want to make them early readers. For example, if we teach children these five sounds or these six sounds uh, at first for uh, that are following the alphabetical sequence, A, B, C, D, E, F, so they won't be able to make or read many words. However, if you teach these six sounds that are of S, A, T, I, P, N or S, A, T, E, P, N, they can make or read over 30 words right they can be two letter words they can be vc word means vowel consonant they can be cv words consonant vowels and they can be cvc words initially we do not teach children the magic e pattern or cvc e words for example the word cave so if you try to make these type of words from these six letters you can make thousands of words but right now we cannot teach children this silent final E word or the magic E or the split digraph. So we only need to give them these three patterns, VC, CV and CVC. And with the help of these six letters, you can make over 30 words that are decodable for younger kids, right? So I hope that you have got the reason that why do we have this sequence or why do we follow this sequence in phonics or jolly phonics? Because here we are talking about jolly phonics. Let me um, mention it. We have different phonics scheme. I'm talking about jolly phonics because this is the scheme that I follow. So we teach sounds in the sequence of jolly phonics because we want our kids to read earlier, right? And now I'll take you to the 42 sounds of English. I'll share with you some examples with each sound and you will learn all about short vowels, long vowels, diphthongs and digraphs. So keep watching. So the first sound is the sound of letter S. S says S like in S, Am, Sam, Sat, Sip, Sun, S. It's a hissing sound. S. The second sound is a. A is a short vowel sound, mouth open, chin drops, teeth apart, tongue pressing gently against the inside lower mouth, and it's a quick sound. A. 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 
If you want to practice this sound, say the word an, an, at, at, ant, ant, apple, apple, a. As you say these words, the first sound that your mouth will produce is the short vowel a sound. It's a. Try saying these words. Next sound is t, t. Sound of letter T. T says t, t, t. As in t, a, tap, t, op, top, t, ip, tip, t, an, tan, t, 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 t. Don't say it ta. This is not ta. This is t, 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 t. You need to keep your teeth closer and with the tip of your tongue. Say the sound. T, 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 t. Next is e, e, e is the short sound of letter I, and it says e, e, e. Make a little smile. Tongue is high and a quick voice sound. It's e, e. When I say voice sound, it means that you need to move your throat or your sound box. In English, we also have some sounds that are not voice. To say those sounds, we don't use our sound box like s, like p, like k. Okay, so all the vowels are voiced. You need to use your sound box when you are saying them. This sound is e, e, e. Remember, if you want the individual lesson on all of these sounds, my series is there to help you out. You can play that series and give it to your kids as well. Next sound is p, 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 p. It's a voiceless sound. You just need to push out the air from your mouth and say the sound of letter P. That is p, 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 p. and pan, p, op, pop. At pet p in pin. P, p, p. Now we have the sound of letter N that is mmm. Mm. It's a nasal sound. You need to use your nose and tongue to say this sound. Mmm. It's not na. Don't say it na. It's mmm. Mmm. App. Nap. Mmm. Ot. Not. Mmm. At. Net. Eh. Mmm. Mmm. Without the na. Next sound is k, 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 k. Is a voiceless sound. This is the sound of letter C and K both. Right? Both these letters say the same sound. It's not ka. It's not ka. It's k, 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 k. Ab, cap, k. At, cat, k. At, cut, k. Ot, cot. We also have Kid, kit, or kite. So C and K both have the same sound that is k, 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 like this. Okay. Next, we have another short vowel sound. This vowel is letter E that makes the short sound e, e, e. You need to again make your mouth smile. Lips stretched out and it's a quick voice sound. Eh, eh, eh. If you want to say this sound, say these words. Egg, edge, elbow, elf, eh. Focus on the shape of your mouth. You are making your mouth like this and you are saying the sound eh when you say these words. Egg, edge, elbow and elf. If you have any confusions between the sound of a, e, and e, I'm leaving a video link in the description box. So please check that out, or you can also check this here on the i button. There are some tips and tricks which will help you say these sounds correctly and how to teach them correctly to your kids as well. Next sound is. <sighs> This is the sound of letter H, H or H. If you say H, it's British. If you say H, it's American. So this letter, that is H or H, says as in hot, hop, hip, 
his. Try saying <sighs> Now we have the sound of letter R that is er. R says er. Er am ram er at rat er ip rip er un run. Once again, you need to remember that this is not ra. Don't say the er uh sound after consonants. It's not ra. It's er, er, er. Okay? Now we have mm. Mm is a nasal sound. We need to keep our mouth closed, tongue relaxed, and the, no uh, and the sound will come out from our nose. It's not ma, it's mm, eh, mm, man, mm, app, map, mm, op, mob, mm, is, miss, mm, not ma. Okay? Now the twelfth sound is d, 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 d. In some sounds, we need to have a little uh sound, but try to keep it as minimal as possible. This is d, ad, dead, d, a. Dip, d, e, den, e, d, head, d, 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 d. Next we have g, g, g. The sound of letter G. G says g, as in got, gap, peg, and hug. Let's check out our fourteenth sound. This is the short vowel a, a, a. Mouth soft and open wide, tongue is at the back, and it's a quick voice sound. Say aw, 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 as in p, aw, t, pot, t, aw, p, top, d, aw, g, dog, aw, t, cot, or aw, stretch, aw, to bus. Right? So this is the short vowel aw. Sound letter O says O. Oh. Next sound is of the short vowel U and it is A. Uh, A. Uh, A. Uh. U says A. Uh, A. Uh. Very easy sound as in A. Uh, p. Up. R. A. Uh, g. Rugs. A. Uh, n. Sun. B. A. Uh, t. But. This is short vowel a uh. we are done with our five short vowel sounds i'm quickly revising them listen to them carefully this is a as in at a as in in a as in edge at the edge of something a as in on and a as in under just memorize these five prepositions at an edge on under and when you say these sounds you will say the short vowel sounds at the beginning of all these prepositions next we have l sound sound of letter l and l says l lip log leg lick this is l not la it's not la. Don't say la, please. Next, we have letter F saying the f sound. As in if, fan, fig, fan. The sound of letter F is voiceless because we don't use our sound box to say the sound. This is f, f, f. You need to keep your teeth at the wet part of your lower lip, okay, and pass out the air. And this is the sound of letter F. <laughs> Next we have letter B which says B. B says B. B. A. B. B. A. N. B. N. B. N. B. N. B. A. D. Bed. First long vowel sound. This is the long vowel A. 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 What did you say? A. As in say right a as in t ale main paid ter in a a this is a long vowel sound and it is also a diphthong now what are diphthongs 
uh, when we teach children, we don't say that this is a diphthong. We simply say that this is a long vowel, but typically it's a diphthong. Diphthongs are gliding sounds of vowels, and these sounds are mouth change its shape. For example, say the sound a. It's not a. It's not a. It's a. A. First, you open your mouth wide, and then you make it narrow. A. A. Lips are stretched, but the mouth is closing. A. Next sound is of letter J. Why J is here after the long vowel A? Because long vowel A is more common than the J sound in English. So you will have many words in English that have A sound as compared to the words that have J sound. So J has the sound J, 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 jam, jug, jog, and jump. Next we have the long O sound. This is again a long vowel and it's a diphthong too because when we say O, again our mouth change, it changes its position. O, O. You make a hole with your mouth and then you open it wide. Later, make it narrow. O, O, as in boat, goat, road, and soak. Now we have the long vowel I, A, E, I. In I, if you see your mouth, it's again changing the shape. This is the long vowel and it's also typically a diphthong sound. I, I, it's a gliding vowel sound. As in t, I, Thai, L, I, Lip. I pi and the I die. After long I, we have long E. Long E is a pure vowel sound because when we say E, our mouth doesn't move. It's just remain in a single position that you can see in the picture. Say it, feel it. E, E, E. The shape of your mouth is not changing. So this is a pure vowel sound. Long E is not a diphthong. Along with E, we have another sound here that is R. R has two pronunciations in British English. It's same as A W A, as in awful. So if you read this word with the British pronunciation, it will be F O C F O C, and this will be fort, fort, right? And if you go for the American pronunciation, so it is simply R. And how you will read these words then? F ork, fork, f ort, fort, fork, and fort. You will pronounce the R in American English. You will not pronounce the R, and the sound will totally change in British English. Hope this is clear. Now you have the z sound. Letter Z says the z sound, as in zip, buzz, zap. Next we have letter W. W says w. Wo, wo. You need to make your mouth like this and blow air onto your hand. Keep your hands in front of you and blow air onto them. The sound is wo, wo, at, wet. Wo, a, l, well. Wo, a, nd, wind. Wo, wo, wo. You need to squeeze your lips to a whistling position, right? Next is Mm sound. Mm. This sound is a little typical because here we do not pronounce letter G so prominently. We don't say ring. We say ring. Sing. Ding dong. Ding dong. We don't say ding dong. So don't emphasize on the g sound. It's ding dong. Strong. Strong. We don't say strong, strong is strong, right? Next is letter V. V says v, v. This is the same position as you make for letter F, but F is a voiceless sound. You simply uh, blow air out from your mouth to say F. But for V, you need your sound box as well to say the V sound. Teeth will be at the same position, but your sound box will move to say V. Next, we have uh, a vowel sound. This is the short and long U sound, along with the five short vowels that are A, E, A, O, A. 
we have another short vowel sound that is double O and it's U. U. It's a two letter short vowel sound as in U, U, K, look, K, U, K, cook, F, U, T, foot, B, U, K, book. And this vowel can also see the long sound and it is U. It's loop, cool, fool, and pool. Now, when this combination say which sound, if you want to learn this, I'll give a link in the description box. You can watch this video. However, we don't have any rules for this. But yes, I have given you some tips that you can learn and help your kids. Now we have the sound of letter Y. It's Y, Y, as in Yam, Yo, Yo, Yes, and Yell. Next, we have the sound of letter X. X says X. This is the first sound of letter X. Letter ha X has many sounds in different words. It's uh, pronounced differently, but the first sound of X is X. Uh, letter X has a combination of two sounds. That is K and S. X, X, X. This is the sound of X. Box, Fox, Six, Next. Right? So we have the K sound in all these words. And this sound of letter X doesn't come at the beginning of any word. Now we have the first digraph. Digraphs are sound that are the combination of two different letters who lose their sound to make a new sound. For example, the sound of letter C is K. The sound of letter H is H. When they are together, they say the CH sound. Now in the sound CH, we neither have the sound of K nor the sound of <sighs> so this is a new sound that's why it's a digraph right some words here are ch and change at chat ch op chop l unch lunch next we have the sh digraph it is also a digraph because in this s and h have lost their sounds and they have made a new sound that is sh as in dish, shop, shut, and dash. Next, we have the digraph th, which has two sounds. Th can be a soft th sound and a hard th sound. To say this sound, you need to hold your tongue in between your teeth and push out the air. Th, th, th. Soft th doesn't need your sound box it's simply th, ek, thick thin thumb thank but in hard the you need to move your sound box as in the is this the at that father mother this that father mother if you want to master this sound you can watch our video below in the description box where I have given lots of examples and also some training on the correct pronunciation of these two sounds. Later, we have the digraph qua. Now, letter Q can never come without U. So this is a digraph. This is qua, 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 et, quit, qua, ek, quit, qua, in, quin, qua, el, quel. After qua, we have the diphthong ow ow if you don't count the long vowels as diphthong so this is our first diphthong in these 42 sounds so this is ow t out ouch ouch m out mouth o out loud the sound is ow ow as if you have got hurt and you're saying ow ow something like this next diphthong is Oi, oi, as if you are calling somebody oi, 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 as in oi, oil, 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 coil, oil, coins, oil, soil. This is also a gliding sound of vowels. So this is a diphthong. Diphthongs are vowel sounds. They are gliding vowel sounds. Now we have the long u sound the long vowel u as in k u q as in barbecue as in rescue and as in val u 
U has two sounds, U and U. If you want to learn the two sounds of U and how to use them, what are the alternative spellings, you can check the description box. Or let's keep it simple, attend my five-day phonics workshop where I'll be teaching you all this stuff in a proper sequence. Okay? Now we have the er sound or a uh sound. Once again, uh, this sound is differently pronounced in American and British English. Britishers don't pronounce the R and they say this sound as a. Uh. For example, her, perfect, mixer, letter, beater, ginger. Okay, so the British pronunciation of this sound is simply like a. Uh. And the American is er. <sighs> Er, her, p, er, perfect, mix, er, let, er. Her, perfect, mix, er, let, er, ginger, beat, er, something like this. So it depends all on your pronunciation, which pronunciation you are following. You can choose that and give the sound to your kids accordingly. Last sound of this sequence is the R sound or the R sound. Once again, because this is an R control vowel, so in American English, this is R, R, and in British English, this is A, uh, A. Uh. Open your mouth, A. Uh. For example, this word in British English will be car. I have parked my car. This word will be M, A, K, mark. This is marker, marker. And this is shark, shark. This is scarf, scarf, not a scarf. But if you go for American pronunciation of this sound, this is car, this is mark, this is marker, this is shark, and this is scarf. So once again, it's up to your system. Which system you are following, which pronunciation you are following, you can say or teach this sound accordingly. And if you want to learn what's next, you can watch the videos given in the description box or simply attend my 5-day phonics teachers training workshop. It's all free. If you are a parent or a teacher who wants to learn English phonics properly to help kids around, I'm inviting you to attend this wonderful session with me because the whole training cannot be covered in a single lesson or video. So we will be doing this training workshop for 5 days, 1.5 hour daily. Most probably it is towards the end of October. So start joining the group. I'm talking about October 2023. But if you are watching this video even after this, join the WhatsApp group, join my Facebook because I keep on offering different trainings and they all are free for you. Hope you have found this video useful. If yes, so please click the like button, share it with your friends and family. I'll see you soon with something new. Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget to make it a great day. Bye.